Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to you at last. I am Stylosa, and this is more Homeworld Deserts of Karak. Now, this time, I'm going to play as the Coalition against the Galcyon. This is on Canyon Outpost, which is a slightly bigger map. Uh, and this is Carrier Annihilation. So this time, you will see more of the late-game units, I would imagine. Um, it, I, these operate a little bit differently to the Galcyon guys. They're, the production is generally done on the actual... I want to say mothership. On the Carrier, um, rather than the other... The other uh, production vehicles. Anyway, let's get into this because uh, you know what? This is the first time I played on this map. Mm, this is going to be funky. Okay, so first thing we want to do is light vehicle assault fabrication, and we should probably. Well, I don't think we can. Well, I think we need resources actually for the uh, support carrier uh, cruiser, which we do want to get up as fast as possible to get over into this because this is quite a big map, as you can see. It's got some nice bits of uh, Gaussian architecture all over the place as well. I know this because I... Oh, and that's also one of the ships, which uh, yeah. Homeworld, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, alright then. So, we're going to have to try and sort these uh, pigs out. Light assault vehicles. I think what we're going to do Research is... Completed. Do I want to wait a little bit? Well, actually, I want to build two um, salvages, don't I? I should have done that straight away. So, we'll get those guys out and we'll get them onto these resources. Go for carrier. And then I think I want to try and build a... Support cruiser, which is only 600. Wait, it shouldn't think it's going to take too long. Salvager ready. Salvager hey, online. Carrier here. I don't think anyway. Oh. Let's increase weapon our range sensor range. Currently active. Oh, weapon range, whatever. The, maximum power to sensor and weapons. Huh? Salvager <laughs> ready. Salvager online. Actually, I, okay, so. We're almost at the 600. Carry now, I guess there's loads of ways you can play this. It's like, well, what do you want to do? Well, I want to... I'm basically fast expanding, I suppose. I want to build a support cruiser, which is going to cost me 600. And I want it to go Proceed over there. So, there we go. Location marked. Support cruiser under construction. And then we'll get into these resources. And then I think we'll start harassing the enemy and trying to find out where he is. Because I've got no idea. I mean, he must be... Must be on the other side of the map over here somewhere. I don't think there's any point go moving the carrier. carrier. I think if we stay where we are, we'll be okay. The assault pack gives uh, optimize our LAVs for speed. Which you're not really too worried about. Scanners for a second. We don't need any surprises. Fighter and gunship fabrication. I don't know if we want to go for that straight away. You know, you know what? I'm going to go for. We'll go for this. Um, our armored assault vehicle fabrication and then railgun because these complement each other. The railguns are really powerful against other armored assault vehicles and other railguns and and crews as well, uh, as well. But you need to get them in good position, so we need to like focus on getting them onto the high ground and stuff. All right, so support cruiser is built. Support cruiser now operational. Unlike the Galcyon, though, this cannot build. Um, we have insufficient CUs. Cruiser reading. Anything? Maybe we can upgrade to do that, but I don't think we can. But it, it does come straight out of the uh, the construction door, if you will, with a um, resource collection node on it. So these it operates as a mobile base straight away, which should be good. So yeah, a little bit different than the... Well, I say the previous video, I've probably uploaded these at the same time, but a little bit different than the Galaxian video, where this is a little bit of a... It's a, it's a calmer start to the game, I think. So what we've got here, we've got two, we have three, four, five, we need one more. So we may as well uh, crank that out. What other research can we grab while we're on this? Uh, I think we'll go for railgun fabrication as well. I think we can upgrade. Yeah, we can upgrade carrier production. Now, what that does is gives us two production queues on the carrier, which I think we'll do as well. Uh, that's bad. So we're going to move the carrier and we're going to turn its weapon systems on. Weapon range systems offline. We've got a salvager under fire. Now the carrier should be able to deal with this. This is the captain. Unidentified contact. Designated hostile. Although we don't want these just driving around that bloody thing, which is not good. Salvage array ready. CUs identified. Okay, we got a. Get over there. Right. They've kind of pissed off, so we'll just wait a sec. In fact, we can build uh, assault vehicles, right? Yeah. So we'll move them onto this because that's a, a dune, so they'll get the bonus of being, you know, higher up. Research completed. I think our assault vehicles can fire um, smoke as well, which is pretty good because it blocks line of sight and you can just prevent carrier. stuff attacking you, which again is, uh, is really pretty good. Right assault carrier check. fabrication. Uh, possibly. Battle cruiser fabrication. Battle cruisers are really strong. Carrier you know what? Let's get. Facilities upgraded. Uh, assault carrier. So yeah, we, these have got a really nice ability where they can fire Armor smoke guns. and it blocks line of sight. 
for both units, yeah? So my guys can't fire through it, and their guys can't fire through it, which is obviously quite good. All right, so let's focus on production now, because we don't really have... What happened to carrier production? I thought we upgraded that. Let's get in and get out. That array will go as fast as you can. Oh, yeah, we the did. The command so carrier must place additional fleet capacity deployables. We right. require additional fleet capacity, capacity modules from the That's command carrier. That's fine. The way these handle with um, fleet capacity is they deploy these little sensors, which gives you more fleet capacity, which is a bit... Okay, so he's on high ground, yep. Yeah. He's got the little plus, so he's going to break that. modules from the command carrier. But those guys are basically anti the little fast uh, sand skirmishes. Assault carrier cruiser's being built. I think once we've done that, we're going to move up with what we've built and uh, see what's what. But again, we've got, we've got a lot of stuff, so I think we'll fire another one of these out. I don't know what the carrier's doing. Light attack vehicle online. It did deploy. Light attack vehicle in service. Okay, so our, our resource system is getting pretty good. Support cruisers can have anti-air. Uh, that's pretty good, so we'll take that. We'll get a couple of railguns out, probably. Do they cost... Oh, they do. See, the more advanced units cost um, the blue resource. So we could maybe expand to another resource in operation. I think what we're going to do, though... So we're going to move forward and find out where our friend is. All systems green. These railguns. Oh, right, okay. So he's coming with assault ships now. Uh, I don't really want the, I don't really want the carrier. Gun. Although the carrier, to be honest, is pretty good. So they are. They do have a bonus, not anymore because they've moved off. But the railguns will decimate those units. Look at that. So our unit composition is much better. Alright, I want to get one of these assault cruisers. Because they will allow us to um, Enemy armor deal with groups of units on the ground much easier. So we're suffering from not having enough of the um, RUs, which is the blue resource. We should probably grab another Light cruiser. Vehicle is under fire. Go for carrier. Systems online. Okay, so let's see if we can make a mess. Let's put those guys into group one. Let's see if we can make a mess of the enemy. All right, so our resource and operation is fine. We don't have any idle workers. We're building two cruisers. Uh, this for area dominance, which should be pretty good. Enemy light attack vehicle marked on the light attack vehicles there. We'll just move back a little bit there, just to bait them in. Like hit and run is a big deal in this game. We actually have a height bonus there. I mean, we'll easily take those out, so I'm not really too fussed. The assault cruiser assault is ready. ready for and I think tactical missile ground ability fires devastating Samuel class tactical missiles. Okay, it's an AOE attack. Overcharge, increase speed. Repair. We don't want to retire. What we want to do, though, now is change that to over there, and we want to get some of these salvages out. That's probably too many. Probably only need four for that, I reckon. Armor online. Ready. Wait for that Moving to meet up out. with us, and let's go for fighter and gunship, gunship fabrication. Uh, fab, fabrication. I can never say that. Fabrication. Fabrication. There we go. I've said it. I win, chat. I win. View, chat. Did I say chat? No, I'm not streaming. I'm making YouTube videos. Ah. So what we need to do with these guys is use their charges to blow this up because that is a bit of ship debris. But they do damage. There we go. Yeah, two onto two, Are two onto two, identified. move him over there. So our resource and Gary operation is getting pretty good. Unidentified craft on approach. We're gonna put... Oh, hello. The carrier should take that out, I reckon. Salvager has been we do engaged. actually need to get more of these out. Deploying field logistics module. Fleet logistics module out. We we'll just dump a couple of them out. So I'm gonna get LAV assault pack and I'm gonna build a ton of LAVs. Because they are handy for soaking up fire. Okay, so... What could possibly do with giving that AA? I'm sure I gave that AA. I'm sure I did. Yeah. Okay, so let's take Group 1 and move Group 1 forward. In fact, you can get into Group 1 as well. Yeah, yeah, that's quite powerful. <laughs> so, uh... 
strike craft. Destroy oh. ordnance. Hostile light attack vehicle. Visually on the target. We should probably get some um, support crews up with this fight with this group. Light attack vehicle. Could possibly fire the. It do not really matter. That is really fire. powerful against Make those. Ready. That's awesome. So I'm going to get tactical bomber fabrication. LAV assault is on the go. We've got loads of LAVs. This is good. Um, support cruisers might be a good idea to send up to the front as well. So maybe we get one of those. Fleet capacity again. Okay, let's leave the army there and get some fleet capacity uh, beacons down. There we go. That's probably enough, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, I want to get some cruisers. Oh, no. You know what? We should probably get... Yeah, we can get quite a lot of strike fighters. Let's build a ton of strike we'll fighters with all our cash. Because these are powerful. Like, really right. powerful. They're going to allow us to control the area. Okay, so this group, group one... one I'm going to move it over there and see if we can take out some of his resource and operations. So, strike yeah, we're fine with that. Enemy armor on approach. Railgun mag accelerator. Could be quite good. He's going to fire faster. You know what? We'll take carrier production. Seem to have a ready. guy not doing anything there. Get to work! Support cruiser now operational. Ready. Devastated. Light attack vehicle destroyed. Light attack vehicle is under fire. Ah, he's got the boost ability. There we go. That was the uh, the research for the LAVs, the assault thing. We can uh, boost them in. They're really good for hit and run. Like, running these through the resource and operations is probably a good idea. There's rail guns and that guy. Salvager under fire. Strike fighter ready for service. Coordinates confirmed. Salvager under fire. That's all right. Support crew. I mean, the support cruiser can fend off just normal stuff. Here we go. So he's got a resource navigation here. We're gonna rush in. Just have some. Um, there's a salt rail gun. We can take that out. But what I want to do is hit his. Um, uh, he's actually only got two. Alert. Down. Salvages, take Got those out. Strike fighter ready for service. There you go. On our way. That's probably enough. Sweet. Right, strike fighters yeah. are ready. So we're gonna strike absolutely hit this with three in. strike fighter wings there. This should Enemy like absolutely protection. decimate that. We'll get the battle cruiser. This is the ultimate unit we can build. It's like the battleship, basically. It's like, it's got massive guns on it and just a shitload of damage to like everything. It's not really good against air, although it does have some anti-air. You know what? Let's fire these. Strike craft destroyed. Good shooting. Under fire. How much did that cost? 250. Yeah, that's fine. Contact. Enemy armor. Okay, so our interceptor's going in. We've detected something. You should take out that, I reckon. Yeah. Slightly overkill. Enemy salvager neutralized. Go for order. That's it. We want to take his production out. That should be it. Alright, we'll recall those guys. Hey, you know what? It feels like Battlestar Galactica this is to me. Like the, that's the, the base star, or the Battlestar even. But on Cylons. And these are like our... Well, I don't know. These are like our um, Vipers that we send out. <laughs> right. Uh, I would like maybe gunship fabrication. Vehicle damage level 1. Power reserve. Uh, that's so we can add more stuff into these different power systems, which we kind of don't need because we're not really under attack because we've pushed forward. Oh, that's what I wanted. Anti-air. I thought... Because if, if he starts building that air, which he probably Carrier will, copies. we need to be able to deal with that. So we should have three production crews now and a shitload of resources. I'm going to build a ton of rail guns and send them up to the front line. Crews are ready. This is doing all right. Um, we may as well... I don't think we actually need to saturate anymore because we're getting so many resources, it is a bit ludicrous. Sometimes you can get artifacts out of these in single player. I'm not sure you can do that in multiplayer and they give you like bonuses. I doubt you can. Seems a bit silly. Okay, so I'm going to go forward with this and use its assault system. Right, you can say that. Because the support cruiser was rallied to it, but the support cruiser would repair this and keep it in good condition. I think base runners can repair as well. Yeah, they, they've got no chance against this. Enemy salvager destroyed. We know he's carries over here. I want to try and launch a strike into this. Can we do it from there? Be advised, enemy support vehicle authenticated. Enemy production crew. He's launching the strike. The yeah, he's launching the strike. Okay. Engage. That's a production cruiser. Well, if 
we get onto the hill here, we've, we've got a, we're gonna have bonus. There's no way that can beat me. That's a production cruiser. I guess we'll keep with that. So we've got a ton of railguns moving up the field. We do have battleship. Light battle cruiser construction effect. Oh, actually, we, we do have gunship available. See, that's me playing the single player. You have to upgrade each individual one. Looks like by just upgrading now, we get them anyway. So we'll get one of those. Hostile armor eliminated. What is the battleship? No, uh, we don't want artillery cruiser. Battle cruiser, that's what we want. Get one of those. And so that's sh gunship, strike bomber. I guess a couple more of these. But we do have a ton of resources, so we could build a lot of uh, stuff. But you see how these guys are dependent on the carrier for production? I don't think we can make... I don't think we can make... Yeah, we've got most of the upgrades. I don't think we can make... The uh, production cruisers actually build stuff. What we will do, though, is move over there. In fact, we'll send these guys on a, on a mission over there. Move up and be on alert. Let's see what we can see. A bomber is ready for sortie, which is good. So, you can see on the UI, right? The bombers are on Q, the interceptors are on W, and the gunship is on U. The gunship is really strong for just taking out units in a large area. Obviously, AA will take it out as it takes all the mass. Interceptors, as you see, get over quickly and do a lot of damage to basically one unit, or if they're clumped clump together, they would do quite a bit. But the bomber is really strong. The bomber will just blow like loads of stuff away. I think AA is a big part of this game. If you don't have AA, you're going to suffer. You're going to suffer really bad, you know? So uh, that's why I've got no AA. But hopefully he won't build any more stuff because I think we've... Well, I don't think we've crushed his, his operation. I mean, if he's working on this as well, which you're about to see, and he's not. Strike craft ready. Location marked. Battle cruiser operational. What Enemy light attack vehicle marked on approach. Swat it down the moment it's in range. Uh, probably a bit overkill. Immediate fire support on that position. Using the battle cruiser on that, but at least we'll get to see it absolutely fire off like a monster. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Well, Strike that's a battle cruiser. All right, so I don't think he's. I think he's just operating in his little base. Unknown inbound. Designating hostile. We got something on the horizon. Waiting for eyes on to authenticate. Well, uh, no, he's working on this. Strike craft taking effective fire. We can do a hit and run though. Hostile carrier visually authenticated. Okay, hostile carrier. Yeah, I think we've, we've kind of brought him... Uh, yeah, I think he's screwed. Alright, so if we go for... Uh, if I show you the bombers, right? So if we send the bombers over... Send the bombers over there. Move these guys out. The bombers will take, mo like, it will take most of that out. So if you don't look after your resource and operations, you're going to... Can have problems. Where is the bomber? Let's uh, focus on it. So here's the bomber going in, and uh, it's going to do some work, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to do some work. But imagine this multiplayer against an actual opponent. The reason why I can't play against an opponent is because, well, this is a pre-release press version. I can only show you the skirmish. Uh, I can't wait to play against an actual opponent. That is going to be mad. So here it goes, and uh, it's going to be. Our bomber is taking fire. Bad news for those guys. Hopefully he gets out okay. Uh, I tell you what, I'll send the gunship over there as well. Hostile light attack vehicle Gunship's visually authenticated. Launched. Copy that. Gunship on deck. It's kind of annoying that he can't queue these up. I mean, you see I've got loads of resources, but I mean, this is only normal AI. So I think I'd be expected Ready, to win, send. probably. Um, that's a gunship, right? Yeah. I've I seen something strike in this area, so we'll just... We'll launch all our strike fighters. Actually, I'll show you the strike fighters being fight. launched. It's actually kind of nice. Yeah, they come out in groups of three. And this is totally an aircraft carrier, isn't it? <laughs> it's like the USS Nimitz. Yeah, they should take that out. It's totally overkill. But here's the gunship. And uh, let's focus on him. We'll see him go to work. Contact. Enemy armor. Bearing designated. He's actually taking damage from the production cruiser. And now he's flew over that, which is not good. I'm going to pull him out of there. Return, return, return. I think he's going to die, though. So they do have a bit of AA. I mean, I don't know whether we upgraded those to have AA or whatnot, but he's got a bit of AA. But I think we're going to move in now and uh, teach them a lesson. In fact, maybe I haven't got all the research, because I know you get... Yeah, you get cruise missiles. Ah, required research. Okay, power reserve 2, 3, and 4. So cruise missiles are like nuclear warheads, I guess. It's like the super weapon. I'll tell you what, let's go for that. Let's work through the power reserves before we do anything crazy. Tell you what we will do though is we will fire off some more of these. 
Fleet logistics module out. Fleet we have capacity so deployable cash. out. Fleet logistics Hostile module light attack out. vehicle detected. You, why, why are they at the Battle ship? Is facing resistance. Ah, okay, we've mined out where we were. Move out. Attention. All right, well, confirmed. we made some... What's that with the battle cruiser? <laughs> what is this Missile about? Battery fabrication systems now online. Tell you what, we'll move him there. And then move him there. That engages them move around anyway, because I don't think I give them a complete attack move order. So yeah, we're gonna go for power reserve two, three, four, five, and then we'll build the cruise missile and we'll show how that works. In the single player campaign, I've not used it in the skirmish, but in the single player campaign, it kills any ground unit Research completed. in a large area of effect. Op ready. Copy. Target Take that salvage out. All right, these guys need to drop the uh, fire this, the charge. Charges. Blow that shit up. Oh, oh, oh. We read you. On the move. Salvager has been engaged. This weapon systems. Moving the site. Ram the weapon systems up because we've got the power reserve research. Yeah. Enemy armor on approach. We're, we're, we're fine with that there. We should be fine. We've got a bit too many salvages. I guess I should work on these points. But I mean, at this point, it's, it's, a, it, it's a mute point, isn't it? It doesn't really matter because I think we've got them contained. Down. But just to make sure, because they are building some stuff, we're going to absolutely plaster this with all of our air power. Absolutely everything we're going to send over to this. We lost the gunship, though, so we, won't, we can't really send that. Well, I guess I could build this back. I mean, I've got that much cash. We could build more strike fighters as well. Uh, but that was fine. Enemy support vehicle authenticated. Go ahead. Alert. Battle cruiser is taking fire. Position marked. Strike fighter taking hostile fire. So we don't really care if we lose stuff here. The battle cruiser is just going to make a mess. And Our that's. Uh, under enemy fire. Well, that's quite good. Roger. Fire on the move. Move the assault cruiser. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting enemy the assault cruiser's got abilities. What are the ranges on this? Hostile detected. Visual unconfirmed. The, probably, the range is probably quite far. It usually is. Because we've got vision on that. Our interceptors are doing work over there. Pull these guys out. Yeah, I've run out of ammo. It's like a mini artillery strike. Probably does quite a bit of damage as well. Yeah. That's pretty substantial. I think we'll move these guys onto the sand dunes. It's so nice though. I, I, this game is great. What the hell? It's, it's... Be advised, an RU site has been exhausted of resources. Oh, hello. I was a bit skeptical. Send We've got a salvager under fire. You'll be fine. I, I, I was a bit skeptical of the um, how this would work because it's ground combat and you know, Homeworld is in the 3D plane. Is under fire. I know, with the Y and the Z axis moving up and down and all that stuff. This isn't. Kind of is because of the line of sight. They've kind of managed to do it with ground combat. And it makes it like really tactical. Like, I mean, I'm not being too tactical at the moment because, well, I've just got overpowering forces. But this sand dune, if you press A to move and you move out of grid, you can see where the high ground is. So obviously that's high ground there. So if I Time move onto move. there with the battleship and onto this, and fire will. they'll get the plus bonus for being on high ground. There you go, see, plus plus. And they'll just chill. And like they're they're difficult to get rid of now. I mean, obviously, could hit them with aircraft, or something, or hit them with railguns. Railguns are go for range. We've got hostile on the Really powerful, but their line of sight isn't. Right, it's easily blocked because it's a railgun. It has to fire directly at the target. So like you can see from this level, these railguns, if they fire, hostile well, they can't fire at anything over this detected. dune because well, they can't see it. And actually, he's like promoted. For orders. What the hell? He's like a. Hostile strike craft down. What a hero. <laughs> uh, yeah, units Research get veteran completed. sleep. So you want to keep them alive. Uh, and they're way more effective. Alright, so power reserves is almost done. And this should give us the nuclear... Well, the cruise missile. It basically is a cruise missile. In fact, if I... Uh, it's 750. I... Yeah, I just used okay. a lot of my blue resource there. Uh, we've still got loads left anyway. This, I think this could be a problem as well. See how I've moved my carrier. If you find that and blow that up, that's going to wreck my logistics capacity. Like, if you hit that with bombers or something, that's that's really a weak... Cruiser ready. Weak. Well, Moving it's quite out. a strong weakness, that's what I'm trying to say. Where the Galsian guys 
with uh, they just upgrade it through research seems a little bit better. And, and uh, kind of the way that they've got production cruisers, I kind of prefer that more than just having one massive production carrier. Because it means you can produce in different areas all over the map. But then again, it could be cheaper to actually get the. Uh... Get us underway. Receiving five by five. Hostile armor incoming. Strike copies. Hammer it. Get us over there. Research cell. Yeah, he's We've dead. Detected Reporting. something. Can you confirm visual? Receiving five by five. I wonder why these guys ain't firing. Because that that's definitely in range of that. I know it is. Strike craft destroyed. <laughs> They're so powerful. <laughs> Research completed. Ready okay. Here we go. Carrier cruise missile silo. Okay. Enemy salvager destroyed. So I think what I'll do is I'll Be fire the cruise missile to Enemy show you guys what it looks like. Christ, I'm choked there. Because it's Authentic. such a nice um, effect on it. Artillery cruiser capabilities are online. We don't really want an artillery cruiser. Okay. Cruise missile. We're going to fire it into that, <laughs> and we'll show you what it looks like. There you go. There's the cruise missile. Woo! Slow moving, so you do have a chance to get out of the way. No, I mean, not that slow, but it is slow moving, you, and it does show up. But there you go. Sweet. And you see what it did to that? It made a right mess of it. And there we go. The battleship finished it off. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Damn right. Roger that. I think that's the end. <laughs> it's just it's just letting it sink in. Mission success. All Dramatic effect. On command carrier. Great job. So yeah, um, th this is I I can't wait to play this multiplayer. It feels really nice. I don't know about balance and all of that stuff, but it feels like a lot of it is dependent on positioning so you can counter what the enemy's doing and you have to be careful and think okay what are they building what am I, what do i need to do to counter this what about my resource and operations you know what am i looking at you know how can i effectively use my mothership or carrier i guess and all of that stuff really enjoy it like I, i'm impressed with this game and that's a good thing so there you go guys that's been a look at the um, coalition forces in skirmish and how it would be in multiplayer but just against AI because I don't have anyone to play against because it's a press version and uh, there is no multiplayer as of yet but there will be when the game launches and I can't wait to get stuck into that so I hope you enjoyed that anyway guys I've been Solo so this is Unit Lost if you do like the video then like the video uh, follow me on Twitter which is at Unit Lost Gaming and I'll catch you next time people do loop <laughs>